Hello and welcome back to Robocop. Last time we blew up a whole bunch of robots. The former chassis of a failed Robocop 2 prototype. <laughs> the UEDs. Anyway, yeah, we also managed to survive the the whole thing in under 10 minutes and decapitate at least 25 UEDs, so that's gonna get us another A rank. As we also got all the OCP chests. Interesting that they were labeled as, a uh, stolen there. I'm sure that's just how they always are, but, like, I can't imagine... They are, yeah. I can't imagine that those were stolen considering you were going up against OCP. Yeah. Also, before the latest patch, that gave you 2,999 XP. They finally fixed that. <laughs> what? That's weird. What's going on over there? Becker's here, and the cops are not happy. Becker tested an army of robots on Robocop. Can you believe that? That is so unethical, to conduct an experiment without our supervision? Right. And yeah, and from all of that, we have gotten five um, skill points, so we'll be investing those in just a bit. Also a motherboard, which... Once again, doesn't have the automatic ammo feeder, so who gives a shit? I'll just have a look at it here in a moment. I think I'm kind of looking at whether or not I have any better chips to put on this board. Don't really have that many of these higher level ones, but I did get that one at least. Mm. So, let's see here. Yeah, I guess it's this one. Yeah, again, it doesn't really matter what it has because there's no auto ammo feeder. So, why would you even use it? The auto ammo feeder is just movie accurate, along with being useful. It's hard to beat that, really. So here I'm once again having some trouble deciding where I'll put this last point. I think engineering is a good bet. Make the order 9 even more powerful. Yeah, that seems solid. Yeah, we are currently at 35% bonus to each of our chips. Which will definitely add up. As I guess we kinda saw in the fight with the UEDs. Oh, um, either Ulysses. It's a new age, and you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains. How high up on the OCP hierarchy is Becker? So that's it. You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced. Because I can't imagine that accounting would be very happy with uh, his robots. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike! That's the spirit, old-timer. I have important people to meet, multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now! Just a moment. Yeah, Becker, I think, is the head of security concepts. So he's pretty high up. Again, though, I can't imagine that, like, accounting is would be very happy with uh, the cost of those robots and the fact that he just destroyed, like, 40 of them. Yeah, especially since they apparently have nothing in the bank at the moment. Yeah, seriously! 
Yeah, that's not gonna go well. Like, I think that's grounds for- that, that could be grounds for immediate termination, not like, pushing forward with the project. Thirteen dead, after the celebration of Guatemalan Independence Day. The authorities explained they mistook the intense outburst of joy for another coup d'etat. It's worth noting that Guatemalans regained their independence for the fourth time in the last 23 Man, that sounds like something from The Onion. First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled, we are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, but he's still a prick. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's gotta be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. So? We start by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. I think that technically counts as prisoner mistreatment. Even if it is Wendell. <laughs> Waiting to talk to you. Well, let's see what that's all about. Robo, do you have a minute? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd, I'd like to give you this. What is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with it. I am sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Thank you. Now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? Well, no, no it isn't, but I think we will just give a di diplomatic non-answer. Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done. I don't feel like that was much of an interview, but you know what? I'm glad she got something out of it. I mean, we could have answered more questions. And maybe, maybe clarified our stance a little bit. Oh, Becker tear the rookie a new one for what he did at that factory. I wouldn't be surprised if he was already on the way out. Yeah, for some reason, Becker isn't very happy about Ulysses helping us against his robots. Uh, gee, I wonder why. At this point, I think Becker might be the highest ranking person in OCP that isn't the old man. And of course, the old man is a little bit, well, out of commission at the moment. Sure, but he should still have to answer to, like, a board of directors and, like, shareholders. Who knows that OCP's behind that Mills guy? At least Guzak is actually for the people. Yeah, he probably should. But yay, OCP. Yeah, I'm not sure where he's getting the money for all of this stuff. Oh, hold on. Real good. She had that fire in her eyes. You know what I'm talking about. I'm really glad to hear that. And I can tell someone was missing her a bit more than the rest of us. Hey, it's not like that, Ramirez. It's not funny, you know? It is a little bit funny. I am amused. 
Ha, ha, ha. Well, let's go find out what Wendell can tell us. I'm sure it'll be enlightening. Absolutely. Running. What a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. You too, fucker. It just you wait, you might have more metal fucks patrolling the streets soon. <laughs> I thought the old man would have well this old man, not the old man, would have something to say. Gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? Just another slime that tried to run the city. I'm afraid he's something more than that. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison, but now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. I suspect OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, uh, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. I think this is supposed to be a few weeks after we captured Wendell. Timeline is a little bit murky. A little bit, yeah. All that matters to me is that your hands are finally cuffed. Oh, that sense of justice is as strong as ever. That's you all over. Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? I used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I am here to enforce the law, not to play your games. But you wouldn't mind a, a game of baseball with your son again. 
The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. Is that why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more, if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Seems our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed, so let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of reform. By killing all of them. Yeah, that's, uh... That, that's the way to do it. So yeah, Wendell mentioned something about a Project Afterlife. And I don't think that refers to the biggest nightclub on Omega. I think that is something wholly different, especially with him talking about how Murphy could see his family again and stuff. But we have some more pressing matters at the moment. I wonder if that's what the brains were for. Yep, that seems to be the case. But of course we will need to find out more if we get out of this prison at some point since there is apparently a full-blown riot going on. Careful the ball tattooed guy who uh, spends his time playing drums. Nasty wound, but you'll be fine. I mean the damn music! Yeah, we went over this. They could only afford to record two songs. These scumbags got into the armory and are now handing out heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game. Oh, good. I hope you didn't need any of that evidence. It'll be fine. Sir? Sir, I'm here. Well, whatever. Okay, so that is progress, obviously, but let's see what's over on this side. Well, we did see there was a guy in the... in the room, so... Um... Yeah, he's fine, I'm sure. It'll be okay. Probably. Well, aside from the bullet in his head, but that goes without saying, I guess. For some reason, I thought there were more enemies to fight in this... in this cell block area, but I guess they're all just kind of packed into these various rooms. Hmm. Oh, I didn't think that guy would survive it. Okay. The enemies don't usually survive the robo-punch. That's been a one-hit kill every time. Yeah, that, that is surprising, but you know, he they don't have much for the follow-up. So there was something up there, but 
Apparently not. Over here, however, is the armory. Hello, lads. Man, that flash stun didn't do a whole lot. Yeah, I think it briefly stunned the guy in front. There was a guy who really should have been stunned. But, you know, he wasn't. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using it after this. Also, new shotgun. The S12. Ooh. This one packs quite a punch. And we'll get to demonstrate it in just a bit. Because the only way forward is through the mess hall. If I can ever get there. All the other various doors are locked. There's a couple of cells that are open, but there's nothing in them, so I'm not even gonna bother going there. So, off we go. And I feel bad for the uh, the guys just trying to sit down, have a meal, and then suddenly uh, a ride breaks out. And there's a bunch of unarmed prisoners who are surrendering, and we can't shoot them, even if we wanted to. Oh, that's good. I mean, I guess it doesn't really help if they're in the, between you and uh, a hostile prisoner, but you know. Get the angle just right. Is that you? You better do something to get us out of here! Fuck it. You were in no hurry, stupid guards. Hey, Tid man, are you working in prison now? And tell your fellow guards, they ain't getting our help no more. This is my side hustle. Right, so next we'll be looking for a way to shut down the music. Oh, somebody wanted to ask us a question, but... <laughs> I like how the axe just bounced off the door frame. That's cool. That is actually a really nice touch. Uh, that, that's great. <laughs> I was hoping there would be some enemies here. Of course, I can't open the door while I'm carrying this, and when I throw it away, well, it kind of explodes. It's a shame I wanted to ask somebody else a question, but... It is what it is, I guess. Oh, well. Who had counterfeit money in the prison? For what purpose? I don't worry about it. Did one of you guys leave your counterfeit money in the locker room? Why was there a stolen person here? Ah, one of these guys was just storing it, it's fine. I'm not sure where he got it, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I thought there was a way to open that door, but there isn't, so... Onwards and upwards. Actually, in general, it's really weird that there's crime evidence in, uh, the prison. Ah, such is life in Detroit. You should have opened the door before you took the axe. Yeah, I'm not sure about this whole plan there. <laughs> Hey, there's Robocop wielding a shotgun. I know, I'll charge him with this axe. Did, did the guy who just had his head shotgunned off just say he was hit? I think he did. <laughs> I mean, he's not lying. I mean, yeah.
Yeah, that's probably one of those things that they just left him because it was funny. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just go investigate the aftermath and find that Wendell has used the chaos as a, a means to escape. Let's just have a look around here for a bit. I mean, I think the warden did say that Wendell had kind of gotten a bunch of these prisoners on his side, so... So he may just have arranged the whole thing. Hi, fellas. Hi, fellas. Love the, uh... Floating CRTs. It's just perfectly balanced. <laughs> and you know how heavy a CRT is. You try balancing one of those. I'm hit. Yes, yes you are. I thought there was more in here. Alright, I have a plan. <laughs> it didn't work. Well, you tried. I should have used one of the CRTs. Some cool shadows here as well. Which admittedly make things a bit hard to see. Out of the way, chair. Again, thought there was more evidence here, but apparently not. You shattered that man's shin. <laughs> I sure did. It's fine, he can take a seat. Can't he, though? You just broke the chair, too. It just bounced off the wall. It's fine. Oh, shot me. Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop, give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. I doubt we'll be needing him for very much. Block A is clean. Good. Let's keep it that way. Can't quite see what that certificate says. It, it says Certificate of Achievement, but I don't know for what. Yeah, I saw that much as well. That's the gift I was talking about. We started a baking class for the inmates, and I must say I've been enjoying it myself. Shame it'll go to waste. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants some bloody cornbread. Mmm, the Detroit Penitentiary Blood Muffins. A local delicacy. Also, that's enough evidence apparently for now, so let's go ahead and head to Block B. Warden, why did you have fake... Uh, cash in your in your office. 